Hello Nerf Guardians and thank you for joining us for February's edition of the Developer Blog. This one isn't exactly a lengthy one but it is by no means any less when it comes to packing a weighty punch full of goodness. Trust me when I say that. And as you can see, I am joined by the wonderful Fu. How are we doing, my friend? Good. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. I am very, very good. Uh, Winter War has been uh, been amongst the pigeons, as they say, for the last three weeks nearly now. And it's um, it's uh, people have been doing some wonderful things of it. It's, I've, I've loved jumping by the streams and, and seeing the deck videos coming out. Uh, and seeing how people are, are using those like great cards uh, as uh, as an addition to decks that were already very very strong. Uh, but we yeah we have some absolutely absolutely genuinely amazing content or announcements for you guys in this. But before we jump into that, uh, a kind of little wrap up on the Valentine's event. Obviously Valentine's event or Valentine's Day is literally just around the corner. So if you're here thinking why didn't they speak about the Valentine's Day event, it's because um, there's a lovely campaign going on over on the social media channels, uh, especially on Twitter. So if you head over to Twitter, make sure you're following the Mythgard channel over on Twitter for, again, a lovely time. And you've got some lovely reveals. Uh, basically, just a lot of love all around uh, for the for the Valentine's campaign. On the, on the 14th of February, there is going to be, once again, a lovely event for you to dive into with your friends and uh, have a lovely time. How many times can I get love into a into a paragraph? It's just, it's it's what I'm here for, guys. It's what I'm here for. Um, so yeah, that's why we're not going to be talking about the the Valentine's event, the the rewards, the the progress, the the actual event. All that is happening on our social media right now. So head over there if you want to make sure you're tracking, keeping track of what's going on there. But we are talking about two main things today in this developer update. Uh, we're covering a very big announcement very very soon. And then we're going to be talking about some competitive, I'm going to say date windows, because we're not going to give you hard dates, but we are going to share the kind of the months where you can expect what open to be being played and also being aired over on Twitch. So it's uh, lots of exciting stuff, especially for those competitive players and for every player as we go into the first very big announcement, which I'm going to pass over to uh, the man himself to take us through that wonderful announcement. All right, six words. We're giving the core set away. What? Uh, that is it. Yeah, giving the core set away. Wow. I'll be honest. When you said that to me uh, a couple of uh, probably about six weeks ago as an idea, I was just like, what? Um, so obviously we'll go through how it's going to work in a minute. But what, like, I suppose the big thing that probably community can be asking, why? What? Why are you giving the core set away? Yeah, well, we figure, um, you know, we're at this point where um, we really need to figure out ways to attract players. Um, and also card games in general, collectible card games have this issue where um, the longer they go on and the more sets there are, the harder it is for new players to catch up. And we really don't want that. Um, we want people to feel like they can come into the game, be competitive, and um, and not have to worry so much about spending a lot of time grinding and, and collecting cards. So, um, yeah, it's a big promotion. We're going to be giving out codes for each faction. Um, you unlock the entire faction. If you get all six codes, you'll have the entire core set. Um, that's like almost 100 Mythics. So it's a, it's a huge set. A lot of really uh, major power cards that are competitive and um, very, very competitive. Some of the best cards in the game, actually. And uh, it's exciting. Yes, it really is. It really is. And... and... As someone who jumped back in with the Winter War and also chatting to some members of the community, I think everyone's in agreement that uh, still a majority of the very strong decks in Mythgard are probably 50 to 60% core set, right? With the addition of um, the, um, the, the, the two expansion cards or, or sets in there as well. So having the core set just for free is, is incredible. It literally means, like you said, new players can come into the game especially if the competitive new players want to come in for the for the Master Series and they can compete from day one. They, they, they don't have to draw money, money in, they come in and they can compete from day one, which is huge. It's absolutely huge. So the next thing people will be asking is, how do I get my hands on these codes? How do I get these codes? Where do I find these codes? Um, and the, that's going to be through Gaming Press. We have teamed up with Gaming Press and we'll be running promotions all of next week it's starting from wednesday the 17th of february 
and there will be updates on this on both the Facebook page and the Twitter page. One day beforehand, you'll be able to find out where you need to go to find this code. Now, it won't be a traditional when you get a, a pack code where it's a kind of a set of digits and numbers. It will be an actual typed in code, much like if you ever got the Welcome Challenger or Let the Games Begin codes, it will be very similar to those. It will be tied to that press outlet in a certain way, but you will basically need to go to the feature from that press outlet uh, and then find the code amongst the feature. Uh, amongst the feature. Um, and by inter entering that code, you will un then unlock the faction that that press outlet has been tied, whether it be red, blue, yellow, green, purple, or I'm missing one now, orange. <laughs> I was like, there's definitely another one here somewhere. Um, and that's how you will acquire these codes. And as Fu said, if you collect all six codes, I feel like I'm promoting cereal now. You know when cereal used to release and it was like collect them all six over the course of six weeks. It's not six weeks, don't worry. Uh, but collect all six codes and you have a full core set in Mythgard to play with straight away. Simple as that. Um, just to clarify, if people are going to be thinking, are, are we going to be doing this with, with Rings of Immortality, with, with um, the Winter War? No. The, the, the expansion going forwards, they are a fraction of the size of the core set, so it's not going to be giving away expansions going forwards. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll hold off because I might do this with the expansion, no, I'm, it's just the core set is going to be there. Uh, as Fu said, it's it's a very big set. So new players coming in, it can be a very intimidating set to start collecting. Despite Mythgard being a very welcoming in terms of free-to-play game and respecting time as a free-to-play game, it still can be collecting that many cards. is It's never easy in any card game. It takes time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a huge thing. It's absolutely huge. And uh, that's how you can find it. So make sure you're following Twitter and Facebook to make sure that you're getting all the updated info you need to get all six of those codes. We don't want you to miss out on just one code because that would be heartbreaking. Yeah. Yes, it would. It definitely would. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm lost for words now, so I can imagine I'm looking forward to seeing what chat are going to be saying about this. Like, what? Um, but yeah, it'll be, it's, it's really cool. And and on the back of that then, guys, it's, as, as Fu said, it's, Mythgard is a wonderful card game. It, it really is. And the community in Mythgard is genuinely wonderful, genu genuinely wonderful as well. But we all know people who play card games. I'm, I'm, I know many people who play card games. I've got many friends who play card games. This is a great opportunity to kind of reach out and say, hey, do you want to come and try, try Mythgard? You can literally get the core set for free. It's a great way of, of, again, 2v2. Maybe they're a casual player playing some 2v2. There's an upcoming event. Like, there's lots you can do um in the myth guard that is obviously casual space and and having those cards for free is a great opportunity for uh for people just to kind of shout about it really share it and really say to their friends that come and try the game out and i promise you it's probably the best card game you're ever going to play you're never going to go back to whatever your normal cardboard addiction is or despite it being dig digital um so yeah that's uh it's a great way for you to enjoy myth guard as well with friends especially if they were worried about that kind of pay curve or grind curve to get into the game. Um, but enough on the core set. We're here also to speak about some competitive myth guards. Uh, I'm, in, I'm excited to see this because I've already seen some big names. I'm not going to single them out on the stream, but I've already seen some big names from the competitive season last year um, who have come back. Sorry, I've, I've got a... a, a <laughs> A nine-month-old screaming at me. Um, okay. And um, some big names from the best season last year who played in, in the in the one-off tournaments. I've already seen them in Discord. I've seen them coming back. I've seen. I saw a couple of names. And I was like, "Wow, this is this is this is really putting the fox amongst the pigeons." Like now, wow, this is going to be great. And I look forward to seeing how it's panning out. Uh, and we can see now that there is a roadmap on the screen that you guys can see. And this is how the competitive season for Mythgard is going to to pan out the uh, what they mean by the season one season two season three opens these are the events at the end of that competitive season uh, if i say anything wrong here foo jump in and uh digitally push me away and correct me but um so the current season it, which obviously started in january uh is running through till march there's no set date on these and then at the end of that season uh open one will happen then obviously open one is where people can can enter and you can gain qualifying points by either your places you finished on in the champion set league on ladder, uh, or by finishing high or in the top eight at least on in the open. Am I correct so far, Fu? 
Uh, you're actually going to get points if you um, finish in the top 32 of the open. Ooh. The open is uh, open to anyone who at least reaches silver, so you only have to get through one tier out of the five possible tiers to enter the open. And um, as long as you just do a little bit, it actually doesn't take very much. I think you can get, get to silver within 10 games or so if you win them all. Yeah. Um, uh, but or something like that. Maybe it's a little bit more, but not not that many. It's pretty easy. Um, you you qualify to to enter the open, and you get uh, qualifying points for uh, the Mythgard towards the Mythgard World Championships uh, if you place within the top thirty two. And of course, um, within the season itself, if you reach champion tier, you get qualifying points. Yes. Yeah. And if anyone's wondering, well, how many qualifying points do I need to qualify for the Masters at the end? That is unfortunately an answer we can't give you because it obviously completely depends on the amount of entries from people who places high and all that. So that's, that's something that will kind of, I'm sure there will be people in the Discord regularly updating and regularly working out roughly where it where it's at. But so that's not, that's not actually a stat we can give you because it's it's feasible. It's, it's not feasibly possible. Uh, but what you can see is there are six opens. That means that as long as you just get the silver, if, if you're not too focused on getting to champion rank, if you don't want to climb to the, to the top tier on ladder, as long as you get the silver in six different seasons, you can throw your hat in the ring in six different competitive Mythgard opens, uh, which carry their own prize pool anyway, uh, as well as the option or the chance to grab yourself some qualifying points, which all leads up to the big... Mythgard Masters at the end of the year in December, which will see the top players from the game uh, really battling out for the, the big kind of chunk of that $20,000 prize pool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a great way to run the season, personally. I've been involved with many card games, and I'm sure people watching will be involved in many card games. And having only eight weeks or sometimes it's like almost six seven weeks between these opens it really isn't very long to wait between these opens so there's always something competitive around the corner rather than sometimes having four to six months to wait for a, for an open so i think it's great i think it's absolutely great um is that something that you wanted to do when you created this time frame to kind of always have something else to work to that's not too far in the distant future yeah, I mean, it's a very delicate balance, obviously. Um, people don't want to spend a long... Uh, they don't want the latter seasons to be short. They don't want them to be too long. You know, they want to have plenty of competitive events to enter. And uh, uh, it's interesting. Like, I think we have hit a really good balance with this. Um, you know, we might make tweaks uh, to things as we go along, just to sort of... We're always trying to optimize the experience but and listening to feedback from the community and all that. But uh, I think it's very promising, and I really look forward to seeing how it pans out yes definitely definitely and just a reminder that if competitive myth guard isn't your thing some people just come and play 2v2 or play draft and competitive myth guard isn't their thing all of these events will be aired on twitch as well so you can still watch the competitive myth guard you still get involved in that competitive nature you can still put on your metaphorical t-shirt for your favorite player and throw your phone finger in the air and shout at the, the monitor for them uh, without actually having to grind or play in these tournaments just to enjoy the competitive scene of Mythgard. Uh, but that's pretty much going to wrap up all the actual information we we have for you guys. But I think you can agree, it's packed a pretty big punch, to be fair. Um, so before we completely go, just a, a quick reminder, as of Wednesday, the 17th of February, keep an eye, well, actually as of Tuesday, the, the 16th of February, Keep an eye out on Twitter and on, on, on Facebook for which outlets are going to be sharing. Um, we won't necessarily even say which factions are sharing, but which outlets you need to be keeping an, an eye on and visiting as of the Wednesday the 20, Wednesday the 17th to make sure you're grabbing those faction codes. Once again, collect all six and you will have a full set of the core, from the core set of Mythgard in your collection. It's not time locked. It's nothing like that. It is there. Simple as that. You... You download it, you keep playing the game for another year, two years, it's still there. It's not going to disappear in six months. It's still going to be there completely unlocked. And if Competitive Myth God is your thing, well, you've just seen you've just seen the roadmap. It's there. The Masters isn't too far away. That I almost said Crystal Trophy. I don't know if the trophy's crystal. I'm just kind of, was, I was going along with it. So uh, I won't say anything about the trophy because I have no idea. <laughs> um, but you can see it's there now. You can see exactly uh, how that's going to play out. And I'm sure that um, the the roadmap I just shared with you 
on the, the stream. I'm sure it'll be on Twitter, it'll be up on social media, it can be found in various places if you want to re refer back to it again. Uh, and finally, the Valentine's Day event is coming up very soon. Make sure you're following over on Twitter to keep up with all the reveals going on there. There's uh, some spicy campaigns being run over there to uh, reveal the cards, reveal the kind of mechanics. And then on the 14th, you'll have, a, once again, a lovely time, I'm sure, playing through the event. Uh, but that's it from me. Is there anything you wanted to add in there, Fu? No. I'm, I'm, as always, you've covered everything. Brilliant. Uh, excellent. <laughs> um, but no, so thank you guys for stopping by. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, and make sure you guys stay safe. We can't wait for you to uh, shout about the, the, the free course set. Uh, like I said, get out there, get your friends in there and say, hey, just come play this game. Give it a go. It's literally going to be free. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And um, and we look forward to to seeing the reception and seeing the uptake from that as well. But with Guardians, make sure you stay safe. Have a wonderful day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you guys are. Take care. And until next time, goodbye. Bye, everyone.